Hey everyone, it's Rob for Cash, the People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. I usually get on here, uh, it's been a while, I think it's a couple of months since I've been on, but uh, I usually get on here and speak shit about the NFL with um, the FNFL league that I'm involved in, but uh, change of tack now, back to the AFL now um, for the next six months, our fantasy football league, the FFL, is only a couple of weeks away before it kicks off and um, just thought uh, we had our draft on the uh, weekend on Sunday. Um, some interesting players chosen by different teams. Um, so I just thought I'd go through, give a bit of a rundown of uh, who's picked who and um, yeah, just see where it leads us from there. So with that said, um, we've got our reigning uh, champion, the Kelpies. Um, they were first pick in the draft, usually a team that um, looks at Ruckman uh, very, um, just needs them all the time, don't know what it is. If he has one, he has six. Um, so no, no um, surprises, Brady Grundy first picked. $131 uh, out of his $500 budget. Josh Kennedy from West Coast, $111. Lance Franklin, $94. McRae, $41. Andrews, $34. From Brisbane, Rory Laird, $23. Devin Smith, $22. I'm just going to go through the ones that are in double figures, really. Uh, the Kelpies put a lot of faith in Brody Grundy. Um, to be his number one ruckman. He's got a couple of others there. Um, Paddy Ryder. Um, yeah. Look, that's probably about it. If something happens to Grunny, the Kelpie might be in a bit of trouble, but we'll just see. Uh, second team was uh, Pete's team, called themselves Locked Out this year. Um, Always a Collingwood flavour or ex-Collingwood players in his team. He loves them. So, no, he's actually picked up Tom McDonald from Melbourne. Uh, 74 bucks with his first uh, first pick. Dale Thomas, $54. Trelaw, $52. Charlie Kernow, $50. Bruce, $50. Beams, $45. O'Meara, $25. Phil Davis, $25. Penelby and Taylor Adams, $21. Sam Wiedemann, there was one that Pete actually did some homework on for $20. Maya Check and Hoskin Elliott for $17 and little Charlie Cameron for $15. Peter's been a cellar dweller for a long, long time um, in the FFL. Uh, it'd be great to see him up there, maybe win a premiership, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see how 2019 pans out. Uh, our third team cost us the game. Loyal Richmond supporter. Uh, he's gone with Todd Goldstein this year as his number one ruckman, $120. Joey Danaher, 76. Jack Rewalt, 73. Paddy Dangerfield, 56. Clayton Oliver, 45. Dustin Martin could be his new bedfellow at 34. Seb Ross, where's Seb? $29. Angus Brasher, 11. Again, um, we'll just have to wait and see. This is way too early to make any predictions. Rock's not that stupid. Team four from the West, uh, Sean's um, Such Is Life. He's got a lot of um, a lot of players uh, that are over the ten dollar mark. Uh, yeah, look, he's a he's a pretty cunning little coach. This one. Um, you know, Mumford, 66, Taylor Walker, 61, Steph Martin, 59. So there's a couple of good Ruckman there. Dougal Howard, 39, Sloan, 32, Joel Selwood, 31, McAvoy, 25. Looks like he's picked up all of Dave's Ruckman. Uh, Josh Caddy, Lockie Hunter, 24, Membry, 20, Yeo, 18, Zeeble, 16, Dawson Simpson, another Ruckman, 15, Sean Higgins, Sammy Reid from Sydney, 15, Menzel, the new Swanee, 14, Jack Redden, 10. So, you know, he spread his dollars around the $500 limit that we've got to draft. Uh, he spread that money around quite nicely. So, you know, he may have picked up a good team there, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. Next up is the cash. The cash always goes to the draft, very optimistic. This year, though, he's very optimistic. He thinks he's actually drafted a good team for a change. 
hasn't won a premiership since 2008, but um, the cash is pretty happy with this team. He's put all these chocolates in Max Gorn, $132, and Aaron Sandland, $65. We just hope for fuck that Sandland's actually plays. Paddy Cripps, 58. Lockie Neal, 57. Two really good young ball getters. Toby Green, 40. There could be some fines there. Uh, Liam Jones, a spastic from Carlton, does nothing but punch the ball. Well, that's all the cash wants him to do. $22. Then he's, he's one of Cash's bedfellows, Gary Ablett, 21. Jared Ruffhead, first time with the cash, 16. Robbie Gray, 16. Luke Parker, loves Luke Parker. Great tackler, 14. Joshy Kennedy, 11. He's captain. Can't believe he got him for $11. It's just a fucking joke. And Tommy Lynch from Adelaide, 11. And Alex Rance is in there. Hanabry's in there. Stringer, Witherden, Wingard, Homsch, Cochin, and Mitch Robinson just to uh, back up Luke Parker and the tackling. Like I said, the cash is loving this team. But again, we'll just have to wait and see, as I keep saying. Uh, the next team that drafted was... Um, Father Carly, alter boy, George Pell's uh, alter ego. Um, it's amazing that he uh, got here and he's not in prison. He, he should be in prison. If George Pell is going to jail, Father Carl should be going to jail as well. What he's been doing for the last 20 years with alter boys is just ridiculous. But he's put all his chocolates um, into Jared Witts, $133. Tommy Hawkins, 93 Eddie Betts, 51 Andrew Gaff, 45. Jake Lloyd, 39. Stole that one from the cash. Jack Gunston, 30. Rockliffe, 21. Jack Steele, 20. Jonas, 16. Brad Crouch, 14. Powell Pepper, the little pump pepper, 13. And Billy Longer, another ruckman there, at $10. Uh, next one, Swami Sensation. Good old Nuki. Uh, he's put his chocolates into Sammy Jacobs, 113. And Ben Brown, 105. Jesse Hogan, 56. Josh Kelly, 51. Zorko, 40. Dugowie, who's injured, 38. Side bottom, 27. Cash's early tip for the Brownlow. Taranto, 20. Lysette, 17. And the new Hawthorne captain, Stratton, 16. The final uh, team is Mitch's Mongrels. He usually sits back and doesn't really do much for the first few hours of the draft. Um... Again, he spread his money around beautifully, was picking up little little gems towards the end of the draft when everyone else had run out of money. Jeremy Cameron, 86. Matt Crouch, 60. Tommy Lynch from Richmond, the new Messiah, 60. Nathan Fye, 52. Bell Chambers, 51. And there's a Ruckman. Hipwood, 30. Loves Hipwood. His captain, Dyson Heppel from the Bombers, 23. Jack Darling, 23. Josh Jenkins, 23. Zach Merritt, 18, Dylan Shields, 17, a couple more bombers for him. Callum Sinclair, Daniel Talia, and Coniglio on 11. So, look, he has also drafted another nice team there. Um, so that's pretty much the teams that were drafted. Like I said, it doesn't start for another couple of weeks. So the cash is excited that, you know, we've, uh, we're getting closer and closer to the... Um, to the start of the season. This is our 26th season of playing this game. Uh, it's just a group of guys, uh, mostly from school and friends that have just stuck together through thick and thin and um, put together a, a fantasy football game that is absolutely fantastic the way it works. Um, we have fixtures, we have a ladder. Uh, first time ever, we've got all eight teams in both the seniors and reserves. So that's made it a lot better, a lot more even. Um, but the cash will talk more about rules of how this game works as the season um, gets closer and we actually get into the actual season. Um, so just to give you an idea, the first uh, round of the um, F FFL will start on Thursday, the 21st of uh, March. Looking forward to that. There's also um, the EFFL, the Experimental Fantasy Football League as well, where we try and put in new rules and just see if they work in that league first before we introduce them into our one. So with that said, look, guys, hoping you all have a great season. Um, 
looking forward to what transpires. It's always an interesting six months with you clowns. Um, there's always drama. There's always heartache and tears. There's also anger. There's also hatred. There's also whatever emotion you can think of. Pretty much it will flow through the FFL um, through season 2019, what we're calling FFL 26. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the cash. Um, like I said, I will do another one closer to the start of the season, and uh, then you'll start getting a, um, a preview and also a review on a weekly basis. So enjoy, guys. For those of you who this is the first um, video of Rock for Cash, uh, Cash is not going to leave um, anyone untouched this season. Uh, the shit will be flying left, right and centre. Cash can take it, so if you want to send something back, he doesn't care. Uh, but he will uh, be hanging a lot of shit this year. So with that, that's the cash out.